everyone. I just wanted to make a quick video about a really awesome example I recently got by the Holy Spirit um, of explaining probably the best way on how to read the Bible. So don't just read the Bible because you're reading the Bible because that's what we do because you're a Christian and you have to read the Bible. Because the Pharisees, the religious people, they were reading the Bible. They knew the scriptures off by heart many times, but yet they didn't know the author. Because what God wants us to do is to read his book to connect with him. In fact, in John chapter 5, he says, you read the scriptures. Jesus says this. You read the scriptures and in them you think you have eternal life. But they are the ones who point to me, but you won't come to me to have life. Remember, you read the scriptures and you, while you're reading the scriptures, you go to him with them. Because he is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. Life comes from him, not just reading the book. Because many atheists have read the book. Many Satanists have read the book. And many people have read the book to um, attack other Christians about what it says in the book. About what God said or did in that book or things like this. So in itself, it doesn't have power. What has power is when you believe it and you interact with the Holy Spirit. He breathes on those words as you do them. And they become alive in you, okay? So, and they transform you because you're interacting with the author because you believe the author. So, in the same way, when you read the Bible, learn to do it like you're like you got the author on the other line. So, imagine you're reading a book, and while you're reading the book, you know the one who wrote the book. So, at the same time, while you're reading the book, you call him because you're allowed to boldly call him anytime you want to because he's a really great friend. You're really close to him, and you 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 have this ability. You have his number. He gave it to you. So you open the book that the author wrote and you're talking to him because he's your friend. You're saying, oh, you know, I love what you wrote there about this topic. Wow. And that verse here, that's amazing. But, you know, please open that up for me. What do you mean by that? You know, really, I want this to become a reality in my life. And you're talking to the author while you're reading the book. So in the same way, do the same thing with God when you read the Bible. When you read the Bible, you have full access to the Holy Spirit who inspired the whole book through man to write it. So the, the pen or the, the pencil was human or men and God used the, the pens which were humans to bring down or put together uh, his book, put together his messages, his words, his stories, the stories he wanted in there, the events that happened, he wanted, he inspired and he made sure that he put together in a book what he wants us to know about him and how to live, how to do things and what it's like, things like that and, and uh, how we should be like. So read it and talk to him because you don't need a phone. You have full access as a Christian. The Holy Spirit lives in you. He says, do you not know that you are the temple of God and the Spirit of God lives in you? You have the author inside of you. So as you read the Bible, talk to him. I love what you wrote there. You said, you know, forgive, you know, forgive and love your enemies. Lord, help me love my enemies, not get bitter with them, not attack them, not want vengeance. You know, talk to him while you're reading. Let it come alive. Talk to him, interact with the author while you're reading the author's book, the Holy Bible. So interact with the Holy Spirit while you're reading the Holy Bible. Okay, I hope that helps you. That's the key. That's the example that it gave me to explain it like. So uh, I hope that helps you. And uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Take care. Bye.